what's up everyone it's T Lee here make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can catch out all the information that's coming your way on my page all right today we're going to go into the exercise of the day and that is fingertip push-ups so when you're dealing with fingertip push-ups I'll show you how to do it first and then I'll show you the first progression in order to get you there Right, so the first thing you should do when you're looking at fingertip push-ups is make sure you know how to use your hand. Before you just jump into a fingertip push-up like I did, I've already been working out, so that's not an excuse, but you need to make sure you warm up your hand. So you need to just do hand openers, and then you need to do them slow and squeeze as hard as you can. This will start to engage your form, start to get your hand ready for doing the fingertip push-ups. So the first thing you need to do, going down to the ground, showing you the hand positioning, is you need to make sure that your fingers are straight and that you are putting all your weight on your pads of your fingers. So on the pads of my fingers and my fingertips are straight. My thumb is going to be straight also and my hand is straight. It is not bowed. Once you bow your hand, you will make the exercise easier, but it will not benefit you in the long run. You're just gonna be on your way to an injury. So you wanna make sure you get your hands spread all my weight is in my fingertips. This is also a great position for my wrist. Notice that it's in a neutral position. It's not in a awkward other position that it should not be in. All right, so moving over here to the wall. Before you can just jump down to, to fingertip push-ups, you wanna go through the first progression. When calisthenics progressions are very important. You're either gonna jump up to something that you're not ready for and risk an injury and risk getting your joints and your tendons and your ligaments all messed up in the long run or you're gonna take the time and do this the correct way and be patient on your journey. You wanna come up to a wall, you wanna put your hands in that same position that I just described, fingertips straight on the pads, put your feet together and you're at an angle. This is for strength for your fingertips, not for your shoulders, and although you'll get those same benefits of doing a regular push-up from this, you don't wanna do high reps of fingertip push-ups, you just need to go to the next progression. If you're doing high reps and you're saying this is easy, you basically don't know what the next progression is. So we'll deal with the next progression another day, and today is step one. You're all the way to the top, you're taking two seconds to come down to the wall, all the way to the nose, pausing, and then you're pressing and breathing and exhaling all the way back up to the top. If you're doing this correctly, you'll feel the burn and the stress of your fingertips. If not, you'll feel this in other areas of your body, which are not correct. Remember. Every day is an opportunity. Push yourself to new limits. Challenge your body to grow, adapt, and change. Add this into your workout. 